This is the magic mirror on the wall. The scene you saw at the beginning was pretty much the motivation for the project. You look at yourself in the mirror at some point before you leave your house, so might as well see some useful information as well. The information that you see on the mirror is essentially a web page with widgets. The main widgets are the calendar widget, the seven day forecast widget, and a three page carousel widget that shows even more information. I currently have it set up to show the word of the day, traffic from Waze, and a detailed weather report for the day, but more pages can be added as the user sees fit. At the bottom of the mirror, there's a camera. The camera captures an RGB frame, checks if anything in the frame is blurred, which would mean that it's moving, then compares the current frame with the previous frame to get the direction of the moving object across an x-axis. Once 20 x data values have been stored in an array, the data is then filtered to remove any zero values. That way, we only work when there is a moving object. If more than four non-zero data values still exist in the array, we then find the slope of the data points using the numpy polyfit function. Given the slope, we can determine if the gesture was to the left or to the right. So the gestures definitely work, but I would say it's only 60% reliable. This is because the motion detection of the camera is extremely sensitive, so doing something like dropping your arm at the end of a gesture would throw off the polyfit function and give a strange slope, either recognizing the wrong gesture or no gesture at all. That's it, that's the magic mirror on the wall with 3D gestures. Even though the gestures are only 60% reliable, I still consider the project a success given that we're doing this with only a camera and RGB data. If I had the project all over to do again though, I would definitely not have used a Raspberry Pi opting for something faster. This is because comparing two blurred images using OpenCV definitely takes some time on the Pi, forcing the user to slow down their hand movements to give the Pi some time to catch up. Something faster definitely would make things feel more natural and increase reliability. Anyways, thanks for your time, and here are some sources I used throughout the project.